complete Torah will injure. Those who follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet, whom they find mentioned in their books. And Nabi Al-Ummi, Allah said, is in their books mentioned. So how many of you could show me in the Bible where Muhammad, 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 Muhammad? Me, according to my humble research of the, you know, various religious books, I can show you Muhammad, 25, I can show you Muhammad, 25 in the Bible. Me, I can show, and I can show you Ahmed, 15. But those who know the Bible and have studied deep more than I, they could give you more. We always researching because Allah said, Kul hatu burhanakum. Our children are going, they are lost and they get confused in the system. And so I designed this topic, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I mean Jesus Christ, in the Quran and in the Bible. In Surah to Saf, Quran 61, verse 6, Saf, Allah made a simple, straightforward, unambiguous statement about Jesus Christ, his mission, and who is, who is he. Quran 61, verse 6, Allah said, وَإِذْ قَالَ إِسَى بُنُ مَرْيَمْ يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ إِنِّي رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِلَيْكُمْ مُسَدِّكًا لِمَا بَيْنَ دَيْ مِنَ التَّوْرَاتِ وَمُبَشِّرًا بِرَسُولٍ يَأْتِي مِنْ بَعْدِ إِسْمُهُ أَخَمَدْ فَلَمَّا جَاءَكُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ قَالُوا خَازَ سِهِرُ الْمُبِينَ This is the mission of Jesus. All the mission of Jesus is hung around in this verse. His whole mission is this. إِنِّي Rasulullah, most certainly, Ya Bani Israel. Why did Allah said, Isa Budu Maryam said, Ya Bani Israel. Why not Ya Kaum? All the messengers, Isaiah, Jeremiah, John the Baptist, Ezekiel, Samuel, Isaac, Jacob, all of them, Musa, you know, Harun, Ya Kaum. That's what they say. But only Isa Budu Maryam, he never said Ya Kaum. Ya Bani Israel. Ya Bani Israel. You know why? Because he doesn't have an earthly father. Your father's tribe is where you belong. That is Islam and that is Yahud. But Jesus Christ could not say this is my father. So that means spiritually he is not from Bani Israel. He is sent there only in a bloodline. You cannot trace his bloodline in Bani Israel. But you can trace Moses, Isaiah, Jeremiah. You can trace all of them. But Isabel, he doesn't have any earthly father. So... The Quran is beautiful. The Quran is so perfect. The choice of word is perfect. Each and every verse in the Quran is specially chosen, carved out and placed in a particular place to make sense. It's so beautiful. Not just reading, just like the Sheikh just mentioned, no, we just read. At the double Quran, you look at carefully, so, wow, each and every verse. Inna ladzina kalu rabbuna Allah. Stay right there. Look at the verse. Take it out. Analyze it. And look at in the context that Allah has placed it. It makes a lot of sense. But we don't sit down and reason. So Allah said, أَفَلَا تَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ وَلَوْ قَانَ مِنْ إِنْدِ غَيْرِ اللَّهِ لَوَا جَدُوا فِي إِتِلَافًا قَصِيرًا do they not look at the Quran with care? Don't you look at the Quran with care? Don't you analyze it? Had it been someone wrote the Quran, there would have been so much inconsistency. The Quran is above inconsistency. It is so perfect. Before I get into my program, I want to throw this in. The Quran is unlike any other book. Wallahi, I've read almost most of the major religious books. I'm almost graduate on those books. The Bhagavad Gita, the Purana Vedas, the Old Testament, the New Testament, the Bahia books and the Quran and the Bible. I have studied them for more than 20, 35 years. I'm doing this research. And so, each and every book, including my book and the book that you wrote, it begins with story. Once upon a time. My name is in my book. My, in the beginning, uh, my name is Muhammad Awal. I was born in Nigeria. I went to University of Days. That's how you, st you start your story. Your biography. My name is uh, Sheikh Abu Bakr, and I was born in here, and I went to uh, Azhar University, and I did this. That's how we begin. Each and every book, the Bhagavad Gita, the same. The Bible begins. In the beginning, God created in the beginning. It's like a story. Once upon a time. Each and every book. Look at the Quran. Look how Allah revealed the Quran. It's not once upon a time story. Ikra. Read. No story of uh, Muhammad Rasulullah. 
There is not mention of any of his family in the Quran. That's a different book. How come in the Quran, Muhammad, his mother, not mentioned in the Quran? What kind of book is this? How come in the Quran, his father, not mentioned? Abu Bakr, close friend in the cave. Why is his name not, nothing mentioned about him? Explicit, maybe implicit, some ayah will refer to him. But explicit, no. Hadith al Kubra. She should be in the Quran. She must. How come she's not in the Quran? Why? What kind of book is this? It's all like books. Muhammad removed himself out. His mother, his father, Aisha, not even mentioned once. Fatima, not mentioned. Abu Bakr. What kind of look? If Muhammad wrote the Quran, he will mention Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman. He must mention them. Because that's it's, it's natural. But how come? Look. It's a commandment from Allah. Read. It's a commandment. So we have the hadith. Why? When the Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi was in the cave, Gari Hira, they used to say, Ikra, Muhammad said, Ma'ana Bikari. Ikra. Which man? The Quran didn't say Ma'ana Bikari. So the Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he explained to us the verses. Muhammad said, well, I was in the Gari Hira, and I was resting, and thinking, and contemplating, and the angels came and said to me, Ikra, why is it that those words are not in the Quran? Because it belongs to Muhammad, not for Allah. Simple and short. Allah's word is Allah's word. Kalam, different. You can't touch it. Muhammad's words, different. The Sahabi's words, different. History, Sira, everybody different. We have Imam Ghazali, Imam Ibn, 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 Ibn Tawi, Imam this, Imam that, different books. But the Christian, they put all in the Bible. Summa yakuluna khaza min in the law. So, inshallah, we're going to do some analysis. We see the mission of Jesus Christ.